Since the 1930s, skyscrapers have begun to appear all over the world, and today some of these buildings have reached heights before thought to be impossible. Join us as we count the 10 tallest buildings in the world today. Number 10. Zifeng Tower Zifeng Tower is a 450-meter skyscraper completed in 2010 in Nanjing, China. The 89-story building comprises retail and office space in the lower section, and restaurants, a hotel, and a public observatory near the top. At the time of its completion, it was the world's sixth tallest building, but has since dropped down a couple of places to newer arrivals, such as the One World Trade Center. Its design is very unique in that it has what is called a facade system, meaning rather than the usual wall of glass, it has modular panels that protrude slightly. Number 9. Petronas Towers The Petronas Towers, also known as the Petronas Twin Towers, are twin skyscrapers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. According to the Council on Tall Buildings in Urban Habitat's official definition ranking, they were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004, and remain the tallest twin towers in the world. Thousands of people were evacuated on the 12th of September 2001 after a bomb threat was phoned in the day after the September 11 attacks destroyed the World Trade Center towers in New York City. Bomb disposal squads found no bomb in the Petronas Towers, but they evacuated everyone. Workers and choppers were allowed to return three hours later, around noon. Fortunately, no one was hurt during the evacuation. Number 8. International Commerce Center The Hong Kong International Commerce Center is a 118-story, 484-meter commercial skyscraper completed in 2010 in West Kowloon, Hong Kong. It is part of the Union Square project built on top of Kowloon Station. As of 2014, it's the 8th tallest building by height, world's 4th tallest building by number of floors, as well as the tallest building in Hong Kong. In its basement is the Elements Shopping Mall, which opened in October 2007. A five-star hotel, the Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong, occupies floors 102 to 118. The world's highest swimming pool and bar can be found at the top of the 118th floor. Number 7. Shanghai World Financial Center The Shanghai World Financial Center is a super-tall skyscraper located in the Pudong district of Shanghai, China. It is a mixed-use skyscraper, consisting of offices, hotels, conference rooms, observation desks, and ground-floor shopping malls. On September 14, 2007, the skyscraper was topped out at 492 meters, making it, at the time, the second tallest building in the world, and the tallest structure in mainland China. It also had the highest occupied floor and the highest height to roof, two categories used to determine the title of world's tallest building. Number 6. Taipei 101 Taipei 101, formerly known as the Taipei World Financial Center, is a landmark super-tall skyscraper in the Xinyi District, Taipei, Taiwan. The building was officially classified as the world's tallest in 2004 and remained such until the opening of Burj Khalifa in Dubai in 2010. Taipei 101 is designed to withstand the typhoon winds and earthquake tremors common in its area of the Asia-Pacific. Planners aimed for a structure that could withstand gale winds of 60 meters per second and the strongest earthquakes likely to occur in a 2,500-year cycle. Skyscrapers must be flexible in strong winds, yet remain rigid enough to prevent large sideways movement. Flexibility prevents structural damage, while resistance ensures comfort for the occupants and protection of glass, curtain walls and other features. Most designs achieve the necessary strengths by enlarging critical structural elements, such as bracing. The height of Taipei 101 combined with the demands of its environment called for additional innovations. The design achieves both strength and flexibility for the tower through the use of high-performance steel construction. 36 columns support Taipei 101, including 8 mega columns, packed with 10,000 psi concrete. Every 8 floors, outrigger trusses connect the columns in the building's core to those on the exterior. Number 5. CTF Finance Center Perhaps it's controversial to include this on our list as it's not technically finished yet. The CTF Finance Center is a super tall skyscraper under construction in Guangzhou, China. It will be the second of the two Guangzhou Twin Tower skyscrapers overlooking the Pearl River. Although not yet complete, it has already topped out at 530 meters on the 10th of July 2014. The CTF Finance Center was the fastest assembled skyscraper in modern history. Number 4. One World Trade Center 
One World Trade Center refers to the main building of the new World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan, New York City. It is the tallest skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere and is the fourth tallest in the world. The 104-story super tall structure shares a numeric name with the Northern Twin Tower of the original World Trade Center, which was destroyed in the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. An estimate in February 2007 placed the initial construction cost of one World Trade Center at about $3 billion, or $12,380 per square meter. However, the tower's total estimated construction cost had risen to $3.9 billion by April 2012, making it the most expensive building in the world at the time. Number 3. Abraj Al Bay Clock Tower the Abraj Al Bayt Towers, also known as the Mecca Royal Clock Tower Hotel, is a government-owned megatoll building complex in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. These towers are part of the King Abdulaziz Endowment Project that strives to modernize the city in catering to its pilgrims. The central hotel building has the world's largest clock face and stands at 601 meters tall, making it the third tallest building and fourth tallest freestanding structure in the world. The building complex is meters away from the world's second largest mosque and Islam's most sacred site, the Masjid al-Haram. Number 2. Shanghai Tower Another entry on our list that's still under construction, the Shanghai Tower is a megatall skyscraper in Pudong, Shanghai. It is pretty much finished though and is expected to be completed in the summer of 2015. The building stands approximately 632 meters high and has 128 stories with a total floor area of 380,000 square meters. Its tiered construction, designed for high energy efficiency and sustainability, provides multiple separate zones for office, retail and leisure use. The Shanghai Tower is projected to open to the public in mid-2015. Number 1. Burj Khalifa So, here we are, the Big Daddy. Burj Khalifa, known as Burj Dubai before its inauguration, is a skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It is the tallest man-made structure in the world, standing at 829 meters tall. Burj Khalifa was designed to be the centerpiece of a large-scale mixed-use development that would include 30,000 homes, 9 hotels, 3 hectares of parkland, at least 19 residential towers, the Dubai Mall, and the 12-hectare man-made Burj Khalifa Lake. The decision to build Burj Khalifa is reportedly based on the government's decision to diversify from an oil-based economy to one that is service and tourism based. According to officials, it is necessary for projects like Burj Khalifa to be built in the city to garner more international recognition and hence investment. Bonus round. Records held by Burj Khalifa. Tallest existing structure, tallest structure ever built, tallest freestanding structure, tallest skyscraper to top of spire, tallest skyscraper to top of antenna, building with most floors, building with world's highest occupied floor, world's highest elevator installation, world's longest travel distance elevators, highest vertical concrete pumping for a building, world's tallest structure that includes residential space, world's highest observation deck, world's highest outdoor observation deck, world's highest installation of aluminium and glass facade, World's highest nightclub, world's highest restaurant, world's highest New Year's display of fireworks.